It is being called shady and unethical. A CBS4 investigation has found nearly 100 prominent Coloradans, including John Elway and former governors, were blocked from searching a state website that connects Coloradans with money and property they lost track of. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss breaking that story tonight. You may have heard of this website, the Great Colorado Payback website. It's reunited Coloradans with more than half a billion dollars of unclaimed money and property over the years. But we've obtained this list of about 100 Coloradans who were blocked from searching the website. This is Tina. She needs extra money. The site is marketed as an easy way for Coloradans to find unclaimed money they lost track of, but not so easy for everyone. It does stink, it is shady, and it doesn't seem right to me. We found Frank McNulty was one of nearly 100 prominent Coloradans blocked from searching the site to see if they had unclaimed money. So until now, if McNulty, the former Speaker of the Colorado House, typed in his name, it would say, no results found. Somebody in state government blocked me from being able to search for uh, money that, that's owed to me. And uh, that's, a, that's a real problem. He's not alone. The list of names blocked from searching for their money is made up mostly of politicians, former governors Bill Ritter and Bill Owens, former state treasurer Mike Kaufman, Senator Cory Gardner, dozens of state lawmakers, Republicans and Democrats alike, but also many other companies, terms and people were blocked, like John Elway, Peter Coors, the Denver Post and Walmart. That's their money and they can't get it. Ron Litzy, who closely studies state payback websites, says something is very wrong. The state is hiding thousands of properties and the owners cannot claim those properties. They can't find them. We're trying to figure this out. Current state treasurer Dave Young, who manages the unclaimed money and this website, said he hasn't blocked anyone and following our investigation has now unblocked all these names and search terms. It is important to know though, isn't it, why somebody blocked all these names? Oh, sure. Absolutely, and we're working on working to understand that. Young says his staff is contacting past administrations to see if anyone knows when these people were blocked and why. McNulty believes there needs to be a formal investigation. Uh, somebody did something uh, purposefully and did it to harm uh, Colorado, their fellow Coloradans, and that investigation needs to be done outside of the state treasurer's office. And now that McNulty's name is unblocked, we found he does have unclaimed money and he wants it back. Maybe I'll get that money back and take my kids to boondocks. We're putting this entire list of names and search terms that were blocked on our website, cbsdenver.com, so you can check it there. And we'll continue to follow this investigation. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.